All right, hi guys. We had our live stream with by Haki. Unfortunately, there's some a lot more questions that the students asked, you know, that y'all asked that we couldn't get to ask. So we're gonna uh, give us by to answer some of them uh, right now. Sure, sure. What matters most, passion or skills when it comes to football? Number one, passion. Mm. I think passion is without passion, you can have the skills, you can have you can have everything, like, But if you don't have the passion. It's like it's like you have a car with full gasoline on it, but without mm-hmm. without starting the car, so you it's nothing. But you can have a Ferrari as well if you don't know how to drive. You don't have the passion to drive. The car is just a simple car. Mm-hmm. How do you train every day? Were there times where you do not train? Yeah, of course. I mean, there are times. There, there are times that we 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 got our we got our day off, lah. Basically, uh, off. From from our from our schedule and timetable, I never skip training <laughs> throughout my whole life. <laughs> In terms of official training, you know, official trainings, I never skip one at all. Late, well, there's once or twice due to commitments, yeah, but mm. never, never, never ever, I never attend training before. How do you persevere through the tough times? Persevering during tough times, okay. Whenever that happens, I will always look back at my life. Ah, that episode ah, is for me. That's the toughest. Ah, yeah. When you get out of it, and you feel that these things like haunting you again, or when you are in a in a in a position where uh, it's difficult, and it gives you a, a remembrance of how you how you lived back then, that alone gives you like solution. You know, like how to survive. And, uh, at the same time, you can't be you can't be weak. You must accept. The reality. If you accept the reality that hey, now this period I'm, I'm gonna be like of hell period. Okay, mm. face it. Uh, you you need to you need to face it. If you don't face mm. it, then you don't know. Uh, once you know, then you you can adjust yourself. Do you have a special routine before you play a big game? Yes, a routine. Eh? Ah, two three days before the game. Uh, try to try to fill yourself in with a lot of uh, water, plain water, mm. salty, salty kind of uh, energy drink like hundred plus. Uh, sometimes mm. I I insert with hundred plus or isotonic drink. I put I add mm. a little bit more uh, salt into it mm. because the reason is to pro- to prevent from cramps. And at the same time, uh, mm. you know, hydrate yourself to prepare. Sleep proper sleep. For two days before the game, I make sure that I had proper three meals: breakfast, lunch, dinner, a more more to more to protein kind of uh, stuff. I, I will go for for much cleaner cleaner meals. Um, in the in the morning, I'll do some stretching just to get just to perspire a little bit, you know, just to get my body uh, just to wake up all my muscles up. Uh, followed by good lunch. Good nap, and yeah, always, always tell yourself that uh, during game day, especially like on the way to game, try to visualize. Uh, try to visualize. Don't don't play game. Don't don't play handphone. Yeah, this is the problem today. Is too much distractions, phone, IG, and all that. Put that aside for a bit. Try to start to imagine things. Start to like, you know, when when you get the ball, what 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 should you do? The first five minutes or the first ten minutes of every game that you play, play to the simplest as ever as possible. No need to do fancy stuff. No need to do all these things. All you need just pass the ball, get get your passes right because the first five ten minutes will somehow like determine your confidence. Yeah? Uh, will determine your confidence throughout the the next eighty or ninety minutes. Uh, so you you need to get that right. That that's like the the the, the warm up of the game. Uh, so yeah lah, that's all I can. That's right. that's my routine lah. And of course, doa lah. I want that little lah. Um, who is your inspiration and who is a sports icon that influence you the most? But of course, I I look at my mom as as something to motivate me as well because she works day in and out. Mm. I mean, we we can't spend much time with her. And plus, when I start mm. my football trainings, you know, sometimes she have late late shifts. She comes back home early in the morning, and 
she she saw me sleeping when I wake up I I see her sleeping so mm. you know there, there there wasn't a healthy kind of uh, living at one moment but I appreciate all all the things that she have done for me and everything as for footballing idol I was introduced to none other than our football icon which is Mr Fandi Ahmad uh, wow. he was one of the first few that you know get us get us motivated every day to play to play at basketball courts and even street soccer courts and whatnot yeah uh, followed by the likes of Abbas Saad uh, you know back then even Lim Tong Hai Kadir Ayer Malik Awak you know we have we buy all their jerseys and whatnot so yeah these are these are the inspirational people lah that that get us going into the game until one day you <laughs> You work together with them, and some become be, became my teammates along the way. Yeah, it was it was a very nice uh, transition, lah. You know, to see that hey, I start to look at these people from the view of the grandstand, and suddenly now I'm like in one changing room with them. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's that's yeah, that's it's it's magical, lah. You know, to 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 feel that. I think in the live stream you mentioned about being in a positive environment, right? So yep. how can we, how can the students uh, stay away from negative environments? I'm not saying that all bad, all negative boys are or friends are wrong. You know, some of them they can be quite playful, but they have the best of intentions. You know, sometimes, you know, these people are they joke a lot, but actually deep inside they are nice. At the end of the day, all of this you need to explore by yourself. You know, you need to you need to go through some sort of a mistakes. You know, in order to overcome yourself to become better. But of course, not those mistakes of going into deep, deep, deep trouble like drugs, like mm. you know, all these unnecessary uh, activities that can can lead you into prison. I mean, okay, it's it's fair that. You will do mistakes like you will quarrel with these friends. You will quarrel with that, trying to evolve yourself and become become an adult. A few misunderstandings here and there. Then along the way, you will learn. Then you will. So it, it needs experience, lah. Basically, well, I can't deny that the best times of your life is your secondary school times, you know, or your primary school times. That's where it's like all about fun and it's all about you know exploring this, exploring that, you know, but. Having going, having gone through that as well, uh, let me let me tell you that uh, is 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 that that's not a, even a joke lah. You know? uh, let's not go into like, please please yeah. avoid all that teenage pregnancy. It will just give you put you into unnecessary trouble which you don't want to face. It will involve everybody around you, your loved ones. Don't don't hurt them that way lah. You know, mm-hmm. do things proper. Be a gentleman. You know, when sorry, you say sorry. Yeah, well, it's never wrong to say, to do that. Be a proper guy. Be a be a person who, who someone will always want to be close to. You know, your friends will end up wanting to be closer to you because you are the one that provide positive uh, vibes, rather than you are searching for one. Actually, you are the one. <laughs> you don't know sometimes. So sometimes you need to start acting like one, in order for the rest to follow. Sometimes you never know, really, because sometimes your friends might label you a. Eh, eh, they need. I can see him like like our leader, uh, you know, like he's a good person to be with. Sometimes here we are searching for one, but then people mm. are looking at you. Sometimes it happen. It happens that way. Yeah. So yeah. all I can say is it, it all started with you. It's your action. If you start a proper action, then with to start proper action, you must. You must be in a proper, proper, proper guide. You you must be guided properly, right? So who can guide you properly? Your parents. So it all comes back to, comes back to your family. Yeah. Some might say, "Allah, jangan jangan macam ye ye lah." No, it's not. <laughs> it, it's not ye ye. It's that's the truth. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah, betul, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the truth. <laughs> you know lah, how some boys will be like, eh, hey, apa lang kau nak mak, you know, blah, 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 you know, that kind of thing. I, I can understand that. But at the end of the day, well, the truth, eh, you can, you must accept that. So, that's why you mentioned about family, right? You mentioned about, uh, during yeah. the live stream, about, uh, you know, how 
Moza inspires you um, and all, especially and also you how like you're thinking about Mika and um, you know going towards his primary school end of you know, PSLE period. Um, uh, how uh, one of the questions by the student was how does your wife support you for your career? My wife, Alhamdulillah, she has been like the I can say the back the back end of the of everything, you know. Um, she's like in silence, in silence, doing doing everything on the back, which sometimes we don't realize as well. You must remember, eh, she has a she has a business to run. She has three kids to to manage, and she has, and I'm I'm away. I'm playing away for like what for the past ten years now. Yeah, we built that understanding. We built that trust. Uh, obviously, it, it's difficult. I, I I don't mind admitting to that. It's difficult because um, physically we are far away from each other. I mean, thanks to technology today that it allows us to feel much closer. Now, even though if you are in London, I'm in Singapore, we feel like we are just one one traffic light away because of technology. You know. It changes a lot of things. It helps us along the way. Uh, one thing that I want to like, so called, uh, I want to thank her very much. I, I appreciate her sacrifices. I appreciate everything that she have done for me uh, till this stage where, you know, like I never, I trust me, eh, I never go for honeymoon before. <laughs> I never go. For, I never had a, a honeymoon. I lepas kahwin tu dengan baju hmm. dengan baju pengantin. Uh. You believe no? Dengan baju pengantin, 7 p.m. habis majlis pukul 5 kan? Habis habis majlis, I terus pergi National Stadium. My my best man send me to my best man send me to uh, National Stadium for training hmm. because besoknya kita ada lawan Brazil. We play oh. against Brazil. I went. I was the game. <laughs> you went, right? Ada Ronaldinho yeah. kan? Yeah. So. So that night, that night, I didn't go home. I have to mm. check in into the national team punya training camp and stay there. Oh, wow. uh, so you you can imagine uh, how how much of I can understand lah if she's frust- frustrated and whatnot. And you can imagine we don't have our honeymoon like official honeymoon because the season is from January till till say October November, and then you have Sea mm. Games and you have Suzuki Cups. And you have all these World Cup qualifications and all these qualifications in certain calendars of the year. Mm. And in the end, you finish all that, your season is about to start. You are entering the phase two of pre-season. Mm. Terus start the cycle of the year again. So it went on and on and on and on sampai like <laughs> ada anak, dia ada anak, <laughs> Moza, Pierre, after that, Muaz. So that alone explains everything lah. Uh, how much of a patience uh, she is. Yeah, I I couldn't I couldn't less thank her much lah. Uh, this is regards to the footballing uh, 2034 goal. <laughs> Do yeah. you think that this 2034 goal is achievable? If you ask me, to be honest, with with how the current uh, situation right now. Trust me, I've been waiting to come back and to play in the local league. You know, every time I'm when I'm abroad, I'm always like have this some sort of jealousy. Like, hey, why the Thai league is better? Why the Malaysian league have more fans? Hey, why the Indo- Indonesian league have have this, have that? You know, and why my country can do it? You know, I I've, I've always have this inner jealousy with me because I want my con- I want my country to to be the best in Southeast Asia. So, I just don't understand why. Uh, maybe the culture, is, the footballing culture here is uh, fading away. People are getting more busier. They kept saying that, uh, oh, football were uh, enjoying moments during the 90s, during the 80s and back then. I can understand. Back then, okay, maybe there's not much commitment. Maybe, you know, things were cheaper. Things were easier. You understand? Uh, but now you have the Premier League, you have the Spanish League, you have the internet TV, so you have choices now. You we want the best. They pay for Mayo and they pay for whatever. So that's where the stringent start coming. You know, like the tightening starts. 
to come in and that's where you need to like prove more to be honest i can say well it's good to have plans lah this 2034 is um, it's nice to to set goals but at the same time we need to be realistic as well yeah, if you set a target look to see it make it uh, realistically uh, achievable uh, i don't want to say it can happen or it cannot happen <laughs> for me in, if you ask me now as of now with the how the planning goes i don't think it can happen but if you are serious about it it can happen hmm. one final question um what was the first career or you know first career that you wanted to try when you were in secondary school and after your and all these experiences you know in football has it all been worth it back then eh, i wanted to be a policeman <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah i'm inspired by those cerita cerita cina kan cerita cerita hmm. cina macam all those movie movies lama lah they become like cid they 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 like macam i find it cool lah you know macam hmm. wah police with uniform and there's police with clean clothes and along the way you learn mm. about CIA you learn about all this lah you know it excites me lah of course right? as a boy like how I wish I can become that blah 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 I got one injury that mm. almost cost my career almost I broke my fifth metatarsal fifth metatarsal imagine this is my foot eh? mm. I break I broke this part of the bone so basically mm. it, chip, it chips off I went mm. for operation It went ada screw sampai sekarang my left leg hmm. ada screw that stays there all the way so because of that uh, when I'm 17 hmm. I dah ingat dah habis tau ni dah habis I almost went to Dubai eh, to accept the Emirates punya cabin crew punya job uh, I almost went to Dubai I uh, wanted to go into the aviation side of uh, work life lah uh, then after that one one guy pull my hand up lah and that guy until today i have to dedicate my my career lah to him is none other than mr kadir yahya when people start believing in you uh, that's when you realize eh, yeah actually i'm i'm not worthless you know i'm there's still value in me so that's when i get i pick myself back again i recover quickly i joined the team i joined the s league when i i joined the s league team gilang united on 2002 uh, jamjung kadir yahya uh, mm-hmm. they were the coaching staff in gilang united so they accepted me lah. Uh, they waited and I recover. I recovered uh, nicely lah with them. Uh, last part, like, was it? Uh, I mean, the entire football career right now. Of course, it's, uh, it's, has it's it worth. Been, it? <laughs> um, obviously, if if you want to compare today with the likes of being a mm. pilot or being a whatever minister, obviously lah, they were winning in terms of monetary and uh, the perks and benefits and all. But if you ask me what I've gone through. No, pilots don't go through what I go through. <laughs> Ministers don't go through what I go through. Uh, so they they don't have that inner side of you know the enjoyment that I that I had, uh, the memorable moments and you know the days that the nation gets together. You playing in front of sixty thousand crowd. No one, no one can explain that. No one, only yourself. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Thank you so much, Baki, for answering the questions. Uh, we hope that uh, all as all of you students as well watch this uh, you know, extended video. Uh, there are additional learning points that uh, you know you gain from from Baki sharing. Uh, thank you so much, much Baki, you. once again. Uh, hopefully, we all get right. to catch up uh, one day again. Okay. Take care. Okay, brother. Bye. Bye. Bye.